Hello everybody, Speedrun here and the video today is about minimap. So we are going to create the minimap for our previous map, um, which is this one right here. Last time we, we, make, we made the light map, so it's looking better. And now I want to finish up by making the minimap. What I'm going to do is to go to our map location, which is this one. And in here, I will add it to any GRF, anywhere. And I click in this get, and I will extract this minimap. So, export preview. And then right here, I go to desktop, and I will room, save that. Uh, once you have that done, all you need to do is to bring over Photoshop. Open your brow edit and let's work on this. So right now I go to file, open and I will select our room. Right here I go to um, view, top camera, I press G to remove the grid lines, I press O to show the objects and I press L to show the light map. And I don't want to see the yellow dot right here, so I go to view and show dot, and the show dot uh, will remove that yellow dot. Okay. So right here I have the map, and this is our mini map, which is looking great. What we're gonna do right now is to go here in, um, I can say cut, I use snipping tool. And with our snipping tool, we're gonna cut this. Okay. And I will just create a new one. Then Photoshop usually press close and then open a new one again. So updates here. And then I just control V. Right here, um, I'll select this much of the texture. Uh, let me zoom in up close and let's get all we need okay so right here I press ctrl C and we have our mini map here so I'm gonna go to image image size I think this is pretty small what I want is 500 uh, so 200 60 times 2 is 520 um, uh, 256 times so we're gonna do 512 by 512 and it will look much better because it's bigger and this is just generated by the GRF we want a bigger map I paste it right here there is some issues, we can solve this by going to image, mode, and RGB color, okay, press V, and now I will press V again um, to resize this, okay, um, I want to make a blending option and um, stroke, and this stroke with size 3 and then selecting black and then I want to add inside and uh, I have a little black border around just to cover the purple that was there and if I come here to opacity and put 50 for example I can see that this fits pretty nice where the character is walking it's looking so far so good I can just go ahead um, and save that. And, um, let's save here our room BMP uh, desktop our room BMP and yes and okay. So now if you navigate 
three are location here. Let me find it for you. Bye. Data, texture, and map. So here it has your maps, correct? All you need to do is just drag it here. Um, and I will replace because before I had uh, this the transparent version of it. So once I launch the map, it will be there. Once I launch the game, it will be there. Uh, looking pretty good. So now it's completed. Congratulations if you got this far. Um, make sure you check my old tutorials. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe. I will be posting a lot more content here. I hope to have helped this community once again and peace.